Сейчас мы поднимаемся к удивительному месту. Right now we are getting up to the unbelievable spot. A strip made of holes in the rock of the hillside. На склоне горы. И идем непосредственно по навигатору. We are using our GPS and have no clue about the outcome. According to the GPS, this thing is about a mile in width and it elevates around 650 to 1,000 feet above sea level where we are standing right now. We are located at the very beginning of this strip. Part of it goes into the ravine. You can see very well that the holes that make up the band are in the shape of small wells. They do not appear to be dug up. Instead, these holes seem like they were prepared to be grave holes to us. However, they are not grave holes because there are no human remains in them. Most likely, this whole thing was built as a certain structure with a restricted amount of holes, up to nine of them across. We are now moving along the strip with the holes to our right. This part of the road is a dirt road. It looks like the holes have been dug in the ground, unlike the ones that are located lower where the holes are made out of stones in the shape of wells. The order of the holes is unclear there. Several of them follow each other like cells. There is a piece of land a little bit further away with holes structured in checkerboard order. You can see the space between the sections of land. It looks like some sort of very special geoglyph. There is no other resemblance to it anywhere else. It looks like the geoglyph from the top of the mountain that we saw near the Ingenio, near the Nazca Plateau. However, the scale is completely different here. We can see that this band of holes goes across the ravines, a small mountain range, and ends almost in the center of the screen. You can see a square made of the same type of holes dug to the side of the bend. When you are standing here, you just naturally start to think, why this tremendous amount of work was done? These many holes were dug out as well as grave-looking wells made of stone made throughout the mile strip. We think they look like dugout holes for tree planting for a gigantic alley. It perhaps was made during the Inca's epoch. However, 
Just judging by how this band is crossing the landscape, our theory is invalid. Any type of vegetation is impossible here. It is very unclear who did this and why. Видно, как эта дорога уходит вниз по оврагам и по этим небольшим хребтам. You can see that this road is going down the ravines and mountain ranges. It goes in front of us, it goes away, and upwards over those steep hills. Она уходит по каким-то совершенно сумасшедшим склонам наверх. Those dark spots are a part of the road that runs into a small canyon over there. We are positioned not too far from Pisco City, about 18 and a half miles away from the Pacific Ocean. Here, we can see the valley looking very much like the valley next to Nazca Plateau. It is about a hundred miles straight to the city of Nazca itself from here. We can see this mysterious and amazing construction very well from where we are standing. As I already mentioned, the length of it is around a mile. The width is varying somewhere between 50 to 65 feet, and the amount of holes across is from 6 to 9. There are around 7,000 holes altogether. The first reference to it was heard in the third decade of last century. The strip itself is located away from tourist hiking trails. Archaeological works have never been performed here, and as you can see, it is a very lonely place with nobody around here. It is very noticeable the strip was built out of blocks. A small space or a border of rocks separates every block. The top of the strip begins or may end in the canyon and has very wide spaces as opposed to the rest of the strip. The part of the strip is kind of moved away from the borders and you can see it very well from here. At the very bottom, the strip connects to the valley. The modern highway damaged the strip. There are two big holes separated by rocks that have human remains in them. Most likely, the holes are not related to the overall construction and were made during Inca's epoch or during the reign of the Hispanic conquistadors. Sometimes you can see the pieces of ceramic pots, which were manufactured without the potter's wheel, hinting to the non-Hispanic nature of the construction. It is possible this construction was built during Paracas epoch that was thriving here at the beginning of the first century. There are multiple versions about the nature of this construction. For example, these are holes for water collection and filtration. American archaeologists proposed this version not too long ago. 
they found pottery made by Incas and assumed that during the Incas epoch, farmers were stopping here for a break in order to distribute their crops into the holes to give some of it to the government. Another version is this is a place to store guano, a fertilizer made of bird's waste. There is another exotic theory that this is a work of art, some sort of ancient performance, or maybe some sort of coded message from an ancient civilization. We, for example, assumed that this is a preparation for a giant forest belt. In general, it looks like a trace from a monster centipede that crawled down from the mountain and ancient people immortalized that event this way. However, the purpose and the creator of this strange construction stays unknown and we can write it down as another unsolved mystery of the Peruvian coast.